rental agreement and taxes like love and marriage what's the connection and what are the fiscal implications for an expat moving to italy in italy it's possible to find short-term lease in many popular cities such as rome florence even though i have to say that prices are getting insane in few of them this solution can facilitate your big move a lot it gives you the freedom to shop around a little bit see even how your italian plan is made to work and also taking a lot of different options to settle down and start your dolce vita it's like giving it a first try before deciding to buy the full version like let's call it the first stage generally speaking under 30 days your landlord is not required to register the contract as it's usually much more a matter of airbnb or booking.com however for a longer period of time between 31 days up to four years at most it's mandatory to sign a contract with the landlord and regulate the behavior of both parties it can include payment terms notice terms bills split and so on one of the most biggest mistakes is being superficial about the tax rate the tax regime chosen according to the current regulation for rental agreements it's possible to choose between a regular tax regime the famous 23 to 43 percent just to remind you or a flat 21 percent fixed in the first case the landlord must pay the so-called registry tax around two percent of the total agreed per year and generally this amount is divided 50 percent each so you know that every year you have to contribute for your 50%. For the second option, the flat rate does not require any registration or annual tax. For the tenant, is the best deal. So a lot of Italians like to make a fool of expats in general by asking cash only or just by asking unnecessary registration tax when not needed. So before giving any extra money to your landlord, ask for these two things first what is the tax regime of this contract and second where is my registration receipt 